What's up, everybody? This is Hana, Ben E. Hana, and this is my first YouTube video on a knife or anything in general. So let's get into it. I have been into knives for quite a while. I've been upgrading my collection bit by bit, piece by piece. And I've come into some good knives, and I passed through a lot of knives, and I figure why not share them out here and give my assessments, give my evaluations, and you know what? Take some criticisms with it and what may come. So today, to open up, I bring you a Glen Waters Custom Knives. And let's see what it does. So, Glenn Waters is an Australian knife maker who emigrated to Japan. I guess I cannot say emigrated is an accurate statement because I don't know if he is, is a citizen of Japan or not. But he lives in Japan. And he makes really, really high quality art knives and some less you know uh, fancy versions make it to people like me in the edc world so this is something i've kind of been after for a while um and now i've got it so this is a glenn waters knives custom hayabusa And these are really, really rare to find, much less to be able to buy. Uh, Glenn puts these cards with his knives, which is really, really trick. Looks great. He puts the actual knife on there with the description of it. You see in the Hanya, that's actually... Sterling and 24 karat gold. We see we've got S35VN, a good steel, all around good steel, corrosion resistance, durability, hardness, all of that. That's a great steel to use. I like it. I'm not a steel fan, and because when you buy knives like these, the steel becomes less relevant. Uh, they're all using good steels. So you got Glenn's signature, and this is, at least what I understand to be called, his chop mark, which is uh, how you identify yourself traditionally with a rubber stamp and red ink. So anyway, um, this is really a phenomenal knife. You have custom pivots. You have, like we already identified, this sterling silver and... 24 karat gold Hanya decorative inlay that fits inside your pocket when you're carrying this obviously because the clip is here but I don't foresee that being a problem because I intend to carry this knife to events where I'm wearing a suit suit pant or something similar so this is just a really uh really phenomenal knife and you know to table one of these is a great experience I can imagine you know but to own it now and and have it and see it is it's just incredible. So you see you've got a full orange peel texturizing and a lot of places do texture like this orange peel, but this is a great a great orange peel. It's completely the same throughout. The backspacer is flush on on both sides, orange peeled in. My only critique is this part right here, where it says 2017 on the clip. I understand if you're a Glenn Waters collector, you might want to see your evolutionary knives. But for me, I don't want to see 2017 on a knife. That's my only critique. I want my knives to be able to live in any time, not have a stamp on it like that. I really don't like that. 
that's harsh, but I, I don't like it at all. So that's, I love the knife, but I'll be honest about that. So, you know, you see you've got these gorgeous custom pivots and the uh, Glenwaters knives come with a custom pivot tool. Which is also very trick. That's that's a great thing. You know, a lot of people have knives with proprietary hardware, some with without proprietary hardware, and then another with. But you know, if you don't have the tool, it makes it more difficult. And to provide the tool, especially one that looks really well machined, well made, well crafted, you know, adds to the experience. So uh, kudos to that, Mr. Waters. Um, now on to the function of the knife. You know, you see you've got a a relatively thick blade. When I come into my own on doing these videos, I'm going to have rulers and scales and all of that, but for now I don't, so let's forget about those things existing for today. So you got a relatively thick blade for a carry knife, um, seated in the center, custom pivots as I've said a couple times already, but they're so cool. Um, you've got a stainless lock bar insert in this knife. And it's, uh, it's, a, it's a front flipper. So front flippers are sometimes tricky for people because they're just not, I don't know, you have to, to practice it. But when you get it, which I don't have yet, it's there. Now take a look at that blade. Compound ground, recurve tanto, and it's just beautiful. I mean... It's got all the right lines, all the right grinds. It's just an exceptional piece of art. Great knife. So lockup is uh, about 20%, which is, is good. Nothing drop shutty about this. To be honest, it's not even going to try for me but the detent pops right back in. Let's try to get this in one. Yeah, try one more time and then I'll... Uh... There we go. So that is the Glen Waters full custom Hayabusa with a sterling silver and 24 karat gold Hanya, full orange peel texture, hand ground blade, absolutely beautiful knife. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, I hope you watch my future videos. If you have any critiques, pop them in the comments. If you have any other whatever to say, pop them in the comments. And I will see you soon with something else, something cool, and something sharp. Cheers.